Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be talking about art block. Art block is when an artist doesn't have any ideas to draw, can't think of anything, and is just blocked, basically. Has no motivation. I felt like this drawing this piece because it took me two weeks to finish. I don't know what it was, I just couldn't get it done. I really liked it, I just didn't know how to finish it, even though what was left was just the coloring. So I have five tips that help me defeat art block, and if they help you, that's great. That's why I am telling you these. So the first one I have, references. When I need a reference, I go to Pinterest and I look up poses or scenery or whatever I'm drawing just to get uh, a real life person or like a real life scenery to base off of. Don't use somebody else's artwork unless it's, unless you're sure their proportions are 100%. Even then, I'd still use a photographic reference because not everybody's drawings are gonna be 100% proportion, proportionate with like drawing a human body so it's best to just use real life so go to Pinterest go to Tumblr go to Instagram look at photos draw from those photos uh, usually that helps me get my hand, get my mind going and it will help me I'll be able to probably draw something after I use the reference which Usually it helps, like a lot. My second tip is to listen to music. Uh, music is a great inspiration for a lot of things. Um, when I listen to music, sometimes I can't help but see things in my mind of what, like, help, it helps me visualize what they're singing about, and I just think of a lot of different things, and sometimes I just have to get out a pencil and a sketchbook and draw it. And also, creepypastas also helped me recently. I was drawing, I think it was this one. No, it was, I was drawing a new OC and I was listening to creepypastas and I really like, didn't know if I was liking it, but listening to the creepypasta really kept me going and it just helped me finish it. So, my next tip, number three, is to read. Read a book, read a fan fiction, look at a comic, do whatever, something with an action, adventure, fantasy, whatever helps your mind open up. Maybe when you're reading a certain scene in the book and you can visualize it really well, maybe try drawing that. Or draw a character from the book. Something that will just help you get going is all you'll really need. Fourth one, fourth tip I have here is to, if you can't really get anything to work for you, why don't you just step out of what you're doing, what you're drawing, go outside, go for a walk, de-stress yourself, or else it'll, it just, you'll get frustrated. And maybe go for a walk, take a sketchbook with you, if you ever, if you get that inspiration that you're looking for, just sit down and draw. My fifth and final tip is to watch other art YouTubers, watch speed paints. This one is probably my favorite to use because I just love watching speed paints. I like to watch art YouTubers that explain how to this, how to that, and other things like, for example, Holly Brown drawing with waffles and Anna Hoffman are really good examples of that. They're both really different in that just really like they have different in their personalities and in their styles and it just really is fun to watch and you can really get into it and sometimes I'll just be drawing and listening to them talk. I don't necessarily sometimes I will watch sometimes I'll just listen and draw and they both have different perspectives in the way that they draw, so 
it'll probably be a good thing to watch a bunch of different other speed paints or artists or anything. And that is all I have for my tips. Let me know if they help you get along with drawing or not. They're just there in case you need them. Anyway, that's the that's that's it. I will have uh, media links in the description below and also to those art YouTubers I talked about. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.